Hello everybody, welcome to the chrysalis number 41. Check, check one, check one. This is the 41st episode of, I'm gonna have to stop sounding surprised about how many I've done soon. Um, 41st episode of my weekly uh, quarantine live stream show. Hi Martha, Emily, hi people I don't know, hi Phil. Um, hi everybody who is watching this later on uh, Facebook or YouTube or wherever you guys watch it. Um, Saving my, my own sanity weekly here on Instagram and on Facebook and everywhere, playing you songs. Each week we choose a theme, we bring you a number of stories and chat and whatnot upon that theme. This week, chapter 41 is drinks, the drinks show. Um, partly because my special guest later in this wee half hour, Polly Pecorella, is doing a song that involves urban, and I had no idea for what my theme would be this week, and I was like, perfect, great. But, hi, hello, hello, hello. Um, my friend and I were talking about whether I should make the audios of this into a podcast for people who like to listen to it. And he was of the opinion that um, it would only work if I edit out all the parts where I say hi to you and talk to you um, because it would be weird to listen to later. You guys can weigh in on that. Oh my God, someone just quoted a very old lyric of mine from a song that I am not doing and now wish that I was. Um, big claps to you. Why don't I just start this show? But I wanted to say also that um, Oh my God, there's like a reflection on my glasses driving me crazy. Um, every week I also say that like most of my work, this show has a mind of its own. So I pick the theme and then the theme is like, actually, have you considered this? So the theme is drinks. And I thought, what a great uh, time this will be where I'll do a half an hour of um, uh, rollicking drinking songs. And the theme was like, no, no, actually you will do mostly songs about sobriety. Um, but it's gonna be really fun. Um, and I'm gonna start by playing this song that I like. When I was drinking, when I was with you, living it up when the rent was due, nothing and no one to live up to, you and me dying on the vine, holding hands. Rabbit songs. I have not listened to that in a really long time. Beautiful folk band. Um, song with no chorus, which I learned in grad school, means it is strophic. That was it. That's my whole grad school education. A couple more of those coming later, actually. So yes, for anybody who's just joining, this is Rebecca Hart. Um, if you guys are watching on YouTube or like to go to YouTube to watch this usually, you may have noticed 
um, that all of my music has been mixed up with a different Rebecca Hart, who is, as far as I can tell, a Christian rock singer. Um, and there's a lot of her music on my page and it's very confusing. Um, and I hope you just find your way through all of it to me and that uh, the forces of CD Baby and YouTube get together and fix it. Um, anywho, uh, yeah, so that was uh, the first song in the drinks set, which may also be called the sobriety set. And this is another one, had to do it, could not do it. You might say this is like the opposite of that song. They try to make me go to rehab I said no, no, no Yes, I've been black When I come back you No, no, no I ain't got the time And if my daddy thinks I'm fine He tried to make me go to rehab I won't go, go I'd rather be at home with Ray. I ain't got 70 days. And there's nothing, nothing you can teach me that I can learn from Mr. Hathaway. But I know it don't come in no shot glass Try to make me go to rehab I said no, no, no Yeah, yes, I've been black And when I come back you will No, no, no I ain't got the time And if my daddy thinks I'm fine Make me go to rehab I said no, no, no Did you guys know that a hangover Is the wrath of grapes? Oh, the man said Why you think you hear? And I said I got no idea But I'm gonna lose Especially when one is tired and has not slept a lot and is feeling a little worse for the wear but not for any fun reasons. Um, I watched that video for the first time. I actually have never watched that video and it's like 
Amy Winehouse, man, she is the sexiest motherfucking person. She is so much charisma. She's amazing. She's rolling out of bed. Like, her hair is a mess. Her eye makeup is perfect. Her bathrobe is falling off. She's singing that song. And I'm like, I would give you everything I have. And I just want to go back in time and be like, Amy, you can be a hot mess without the booze. I promise. I really promise. <laughs> um, anyway, whatever. Um, my name is Rebecca Hart. This is my set. I can't find my capo. There it is. Um, so ironically, or maybe not, usually I pick these um, themes and then I look among my songs and I'm like, what if my songs could work? And sometimes I have trouble picking one. And this one I was like, oh, I got songs. Um, I wrote a song in grad school um, uh, as part of a, a song cycle called Vicious Cycle um, about various kinds of addictions. This is a song called Red Flag. And I usually say that it's about... Um, dating someone who has stopped using um, but has replaced his drug of choice with you as the new drug of choice and what that's like. Um, but I also just want to shout out something I heard recently that was so great. I heard this woman saying um, how she realized that over and over and over she never, she always sees the red flags in relationships and ignores them and does it anyway. And after a while she was like, I'm the red flag. That's the red flag. The fact that I never, that I always see them and I never do anything about it. And I was like, oh sister, I hear you. Anyway. This is a song I have not recorded yet, um, but whenever I play it, people seem to um, vibe with it, and it goes like this. The only thing I hate about Instagram is that I can't go back and like chat with you and read your comments later, and so I just like either if I snooze, I lose. I either see them or I don't. Um, thank you for being here and listening to me. How's the guitar? Let me know. You know, they say doctor theater cures all. Um, it is good to be here. Hi, Jess. I'm, hi, everybody who I don't know who's joining. Um, this is the 41st episode of The Chrysalis. This week, drinks. And I cannot do the drinks show without pandering to um, a time-honored generalization, which is Ireland. Um, I know from having spent a lot of time there and loving and knowing a lot of Irish people that not all Irish people drink like crazy. I will also say, however, that I know a lot of Irish people and have spent a lot of time there. And as the great uh, comedian Lewis Black once said, Ireland is a great place to visit if you think you might be drinking too much because you're not even close. Anywho, I am really excited um, to turn up the light here and see how that goes. I think I like that better. Um, I'm gonna do a song by the Pogues 
Um, I sometimes do their song Fairy Tale of New York at Christmas. If you guys don't know them, they were um, an amazing, iconic band, uh, Irish band from the 80s who were somehow managed to be both an Irish traditional music band and a punk band at the same time. Um, I was a big fan as a kid just because I was like, everything Irish is great. Um, and I mostly just paid attention to their um, iconic, publicly drunken, wonderful, charismatic lead singer, Shane McGowan. And I didn't really, I thought I was a fan, but I didn't really know that I wasn't until um, I finished out my grad school career by being cast in the Pogues Jukebox Musical Workshop, um, which I thought was the most on-brand thing ever. So I missed graduation to go sing the Pogues all day. And um, we were all very excited uh, when we heard that a couple of the Pogues were going to come to rehearsal. And they did. And two people came and sat in the front row and they came up to us afterwards and they were like, we're the Pogues. And I was like, that's weird. I didn't think there were any girls in the Pogues, um, which shows you how much I knew because, of course, Kate or Kat, not sure which, you can correct me, O'Reardon is their bass player and was their bass player and is amazing. Um, and she sings this song on their album, Rum, Sodomy, and the Lash, which is also one of the best album titles ever. I'm not sure what key I want to do this in. Um, this is a traditional Irish song that is uh, described as a, um, a boastful uh, Irish ditty. It's a boastful drinking song. It's supposed to be sung by a wealthy man at the end of his working day, um, or not working day, where he buys everyone in the pub around and talks about how great he is and how much stuff he has. But even before the Pogues did this, um, there was a famous version in 1960 by a woman named Jeannie Roberts, Robertson, or Roberts, and then Kat O'Reardon sings this um, on the Pogues album, and it's just beautiful to have a woman singing it because it makes it sound like a little boy is like, I am so great, and I can buy you all drinks. And that's kind of how I think it should sound. So I'm gonna sing that song called um, A Man You Don't Meet Every Day. It goes like this. Also strophic. Also gets, it's a traditional song, so it just gets totally weird in the middle for a second. Um, but these are the lyrics. My name is Jock Stewart, I'm a canny gone man, and a roving young fellow I've been. So be easy and free when you drink and with me, I am a man you don't meet every day. acres of land, I have men I command, and I've always a shilling to spare. So be easy and free when you're drinking with me. I'm a man you don't meet every day. songs about drinking, but I didn't want to go for the low-hanging fruit. I don't know, we could have been like, ah, oh, whiskey, you're the devil, but um, I'm sure someone is somewhere doing that right now. Um, so just on this theme, I'm going to do another song, and then I'm going to bring in my special guest of the week, and then I'm going to do one more song, and then take a nap. Um, but thank you for coming uh, to my party, I should say, because David Ross isn't here to do it for me, that um, these shows are always free, and 
Um, they're easy and free. And if you're drinking with me, you may want to put some money in the tip jar. My tip jar is at Venmo, Rebecca-Heart-5, PayPal, Rebecca at RebeccaHeart.net, Cash App, Zelle, the other ones, same thing, Rebecca at RebeccaHeart.net, or just come back and watch these shows. I need you more than I need your money. Um, my mailing list, if you want to know, sometimes I change where I do the live version. If you want to get a little love note from me about the theme of the week, I think they're usually funny. Um, you can sign up on the mailing list at RebeccaHeart.net. Anyway, so as I said at the beginning, um, this was a song, a set that was supposed to be all uh, songs about drinking, which became all songs about sobriety, pretty much. Um, and here is a song wherein I tried to write about sobriety and wound up writing a drinking song. So for the same song cycle for school, um, I wrote this tune, I was doing my dishes, which is where a lot of song ideas come to me for some reason, and I was thinking, I'd really like to write a song about the joys of, you know, clean living. And um, this old Irish male character from the depths of my soul spoke up and said, there are no songs about glasses of water. And then he wrote this song and I sing it to you now. Sure, there are no songs about glasses of water, no jigs and no reels on the drive. And you can't get to Dublin town on the wagon. I'd like to see you try. When I was a young man in Enniskillen Old Mrs. Connolly after mass Taught me the evils of the whiskey Said you're going to hell if you raise your glass God bless you, I told her Oh no, oh Mrs. I told her I'm well afeard of the writing you've set on the wall and I do as you say, but then I recall that nobody likes you at all. No, 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 nobody likes you at all. I'm sure there are no songs about glasses of water, no jigs and no reels on the drive. And you can't get to Dublin town on the wagon. I'd like to see you try. And I knew a good woman in Lisdoon Parna where they hold the matchmaking dance and it's there her dear husband now departed first bought her a pint by chance God bless him, she told me he may be gone but he left fifty thousand a year and wish us, says she, were it not for the beer I'd never have ended up here no, no, I'd never have ended up here there are no songs about glasses of water, no jigs and no reels on the drive. And you can't get to Dublin town on the wagon, I'd like to see you try. And now I am an old man in Enniskillen. Sure you wouldn't grudge an old man his song. Come aim and pour us another Murphy's. As I mightn't be here for long And I just want to say that now the young folk Are all making coffee And they're drinking their fruit juices In the town And it's never a tear they shed I tell ya When the local pub shut down Dear lads, I tell ya I'm well fear of the writing I see on the wall And of the Ireland I see in my crystal ball Where nobody's drinking at all No, 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 nobody's drinking at all Sing with me! And sure, there are no songs about glasses of water No jigs and no reels on the drive And you can't get to Dublin town on the wagon I'd like to see you try oh, oh, I'd like to see you try oh, oh, I'd like to see you try You guys, that is extremely fun and I hope not offensive to my Irish viewers I get together with a couple of awesome songwriters from Ireland every couple weeks and we play songs together and I will get shit for that one So you guys, Polly Pecorella I am so glad that you love this set Come back um, I hope I did this right. Yes, go live with Polly Pecorella. And while I'm waiting for him, I'm gonna say I'm glad you love this set. Come back, play again. 
I am excited to introduce you to Polly. What's up? Oh my God. This hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm okay, man. I can see you and I can hear you. And that is great. I can't, I can't believe that this is the first time I'm seeing you in 600 years. Yep. We have not seen each other in a really long time. You guys, we went to grad school together. Polly is one of my favorite all around personalities, souls, in general and i was like hey can you come on and play a song and he was like will i be yeah. a fit for this show and i was like the fit is what i say it is <laughs> so you're gonna hear a song called bourbon eyes if i am not mistaken right mr bourbon mr. eyes mr. Bourbon Eyes, excuse me much better he's got a prefix okay, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna step over to the side and give you the floor ladies and gentlemen mr Polly Tucker. Oh, bless you. Um, thank you. Oh, my God. I love you so much. And I'm happy at least I could do this. So um, this was called Mr. Bourbon Eyes. And it's a tune about a drag queen sitting in a bar at last call, sort of drunk, sort of bent out of shape. And he laments into his old fashion. So something like this. Not that sound. <laughs> Mr. Bourbon Eyes, look at me like you do the other guys. Fun through that thick black hair and catch me in your bourbon stare. Don't turn away. Mr. Chisel Jaw, look at me, I'll let you be my tragic flaw. You know I don't know your name, you don't know mine, it's just the same. Don't turn away, last call. Waiting here's always my downfall, but I'm in for the long haul. Just like the olives, I've soaked up the alcohol. I can be a swell time if you let me end. I might turn out someone you wanna go home with tonight. Someone that you'll have to keep from your wife. Someone to save from the jaws of the night. Life. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Bourbon Eyes, look at me. Oh, my God, there should be thunderous applause, but. <laughs> We live in quarantine and this sucks. Um, but I'm applying. It really blows. <laughs> it really <laughs> blows. Hey, all right. Yeah. Um, Polly Pecorella, thank you for being on my show. Um, thank you so much for asking me. I'm so glad I get to see your face. I'm glad to see your face, too. I think you have to let yourself out because when I did it last time, I accidentally ended my show. So I'm not going to do it. But you can click the oh. where it is. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, thank I'm going to do it. Thank you, everybody. They're clapping. No, that's a no. no <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> you guys, this is live. It is live TV. Wow, this is it's it's like live theater without all the things live theater okay, is you great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no I, I do not want to be distracting for you. So I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I, I love you so much. I'm gonna exit and rejoin. <laughs> okay, great. Bye. <laughs> I love um, you. A couple weeks ago, I was talking about. Um, uh, how I did uh, Deacon Blues, even though it was like the one Steely Dan song I hate. And I'm gonna do this uh, Joni Mitchell song, which I, uh, for real, never have really uh, connected to. I have never, I've always been like, what are you actually saying? I don't really get it. Are you saying that the person is an addiction and you hate them or that you love them? Um, or maybe both now that I'm saying it out loud. Um, <clears throat> I also wanna tell my joke that I forgot to tell this joke. Uh, the joke of the week comes from erstwhile wrong band keyboard player, um, 
David Kornfeld and is my favorite joke, I think pretty much in the world, which is bear walks into a bar, bartender says, oh, bear walks into a bar, you guys, I should not be telling jokes. Bear walks into a bar and is like, I'll have a gin and tonic. And the bartender says, why the big pause? Just before our love got lost, you said, I am as constant as a northern star. I said, constantly in the darkness, where's that at? If you want me, I'll be in the bar. On the back of a cartoon coaster, in the blue TV screen of night, I drew a map of Canada. Oh, Canada, with your face sketched on it twice. You're in my blood, like holy wine. You taste so bitter and so sweet. Oh, I could drink a case of you. still be on my feet. I am a lonely painter. I live in a box of paints. I'm frightened by the devil, and I'm drawn to those ones that ain't afraid. I remember the time you told me you said love is touching souls. Well, surely you touch mine, because part of you pours out of me in these lines from time to time. Oh, you're in my blood like holy wine. You taste so bitter and so sweet. Oh, I could drink a case of you, darling. Still, I'd be on my feet. I would still be on my feet. And I met a woman. She had a mouth like yours. She knew your life. She knew your devils and your deeds, and she said, go to him. Stay with him if you can, but be prepared to bleed. And a quick uh, public service announcement. Live your life in such a way that your mom never has to say to your girlfriend, go to him, stay with him if you can, but be prepared to bleed. Just saying, could we all stop romanticizing that? Where was I? All right. You are in my blood like holy wine. You taste so bitter, bitter and so sweet. No, I could drink a case of you, darling. And I would still be on my feet. I would still be on my feet. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Polly Pecorella for guesting. Um, see you next week. <laughs>